Hey there, I'm Sarah Thompson, a 28-year-old tattoo artist living it up in the Big Apple. Before I dive into my crazy family drama, do me a solid and hit that subscribe button, will ya? Trust me, you're gonna wanna stick around for this wild ride. I'm in my studio putting the finishing touches on a sick dragon piece when my phone starts buzzing. It's my little sis, Emily. Sarah, oh my god, I'm so excited, she squeals. Whoa, slow down, Em. What's got you bouncing off the walls? I'm graduating. In three weeks. You'll come, right? I can't help but grin. Are you kidding? I wouldn't miss it for the world. As I hang up, I catch my reflection in the mirror. My electric blue hair, nose ring, and colorful sleeve tattoos scream rebel. Yeah, I stick out like a sore thumb in my cookie-cutter Midwestern family. But hey, that's just me. I start scrolling through flight options when a memory hits me like a ton of bricks. It's mom's voice, shrill and disapproving. Sarah, when are you going to grow up and get a real job? Those drawings on your skin are embarrassing. I shake it off. This isn't about mom. It's about Emily. My boyfriend Mike walks in, his tattooed arms full of takeout. Hey babe, what's up? You look like you've seen a ghost. Emily's graduating. I'm flying back home. He raises an eyebrow. You sure about that? Last time? I know, I know. But it's Emily. I gotta be there for her. Mike nods, understanding. He's been my rock through all the family drama. Later that night, I call my Aunt Linda. She's always been the cool one in the family. Sarah, honey, how's the big city treating you? It's great, Aunt Linda. Listen, Emily's graduating. I'm coming back for it. There's a pause. Oh, sweetie, that's wonderful. Just be prepared, okay? You know how your mother can be? I sigh. Yeah, I know, but I'm not that scared little girl anymore. I can handle her. As I hang up, I catch myself smiling. Despite everything, I'm excited. I start planning Emily's gift, a custom-designed locket with a hidden compartment, something that screams Sarah, but won't give mom a heart attack. The next day at the tattoo parlor, I'm working on a client when my phone pings. It's a text from dad. Heard you're coming for the graduation. Looking forward to seeing you, kiddo. Short and sweet. That's dad for you. Always trying to keep the peace, never really taking a stand. As I finish up the tattoo, I can't help but wonder how this visit will go. Will mom criticize my every move? Will dad stand up for me this time? Will Emily be embarrassed by her punk rock big sister? But you know what? I'm done trying to fit into their mold. I'm Sarah freaking Thompson, and I'm proud of who I am. If they can't handle it, that's their problem. I'm sitting in my favorite coffee shop sketching designs for a new client when my phone rings. It's mom. Weird, she never calls me. Hello? Sarah, it's your mother. Her tone is ice cold. My stomach drops. Hi, Mom, what's up? I'm calling about Emily's graduation. Yeah, I've got my flight booked. I can't wait to... That won't be necessary. We think it's best if you don't attend. I nearly drop my coffee. What? Why? Your alternative lifestyle would embarrass us in front of our friends and Emily's classmates. You understand, don't you? I'm speechless. She continues. You can send a gift if you'd like. The call ends, and I'm left staring at my phone in disbelief. I immediately dial Emily. She picks up on the third ring. Hey, Sarah. Em, what's going on? Mom just told me I'm not welcome at your graduation. There's a long pause. I... I know. I'm sorry, Sarah. My heart shatters. You knew? And you didn't say anything? I didn't know how to tell you. Mom said it's for the best. For the best? I'm your sister, Emily. I know, I just... I gotta go, Sarah. I'm sorry. The line goes dead. I feel like I've been punched in the gut. I stumble back to the apartment where Mike is working on some designs. Babe? What's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. I collapse onto the couch, telling him everything. He pulls me into a hug. That's messed up, Sarah. You can't let them treat you like this. But what can I do? They don't want me there. Stand up for yourself. You've worked hard to be who you are. Don't let them shame you for it. 
I nod, wiping my eyes. You're right. I need to call Aunt Linda. Aunt Linda picks up immediately. Sarah, honey, how are you? Not great, Aunt Linda. Mom just uninvited me from Emily's graduation. She did what? Oh, that sister of mine. I'm so sorry, sweetie. Emily knew about it too. She didn't even try to stop it. Now don't be too hard on Emily. Your mother can be persuasive. But this isn't right, Sarah. You need to stand up for yourself. But how? They clearly don't want me there. Honey, you're stronger than you know. Don't let Karen's narrow-mindedness dictate your life. You have every right to be at that graduation. After we hang up, I feel a little better. But then my phone pings with a message from an old family friend. Sarah, is everything okay? Your mom mentioned you're going through a rough patch. Something about an unstable lifestyle? We're all praying for you. My blood boils. Of course, mom's spreading rumors. I spend the next few days in a fog, torn between anger and hurt. Mike tries to cheer me up, but I can't shake this feeling of betrayal. One night, as we're closing up the tattoo shop, Mike turns to me. So, what are you going to do about the graduation? I take a deep breath. I don't know. Part of me wants to show up anyway, but... But what? Sarah, you've never backed down from a challenge before. Why start now? He's right. I've spent years building myself up, becoming the person I want to be. I'm not about to let my family tear that down. You know what? I'm going. They can't stop me from supporting my sister. Mike grins. That's my girl. Want me to come with? I shake my head. No, this is something I need to do alone. As I start planning my trip, I feel a mix of determination and dread. I have no idea how this is going to play out, but I know one thing for sure. I'm done letting my family dictate who I can be. It's time to stand up for myself once and for all. I can't shake this feeling that there's more to mom's sudden decision than she's letting on. It's time to do some digging. I start by reaching out to Grandma Thompson. We haven't spoken in years, but I figure it's worth a shot. Sarah, is that really you? Hi, Grandma. Yeah, it's me. Oh, sweetheart, I've been trying to reach you for years. I've sent so many letters. My heart sinks. Letters? I never got any letters. That's strange. I sent them to your parents' address. Karen always said you were too busy to respond. The pieces start falling into place. Mom's been intercepting Grandma's letters all this time. Next, I dive into social media. What I find makes my blood boil. There are family photos everywhere, holidays, vacations, gatherings, but I'm nowhere to be seen. In the few pictures where I was originally present, I've been crudely photoshopped out. I call Aunt Linda, hoping she might have some insight. Aunt Linda, have you seen Mom's social media lately? She sighs heavily. Oh, Sarah, I was hoping you wouldn't find out this way. Your mother, she's been spreading some nasty rumors about you. What kind of rumors? She's implying you're mixed up in drugs, that you're promiscuous. I've tried to set the record straight, but you know how she can be... I'm stunned. How could she do this? I don't know, honey, but there's more. I overheard her talking to her friends about some financial troubles, something about mismanaged funds. This sends me on another investigative spree. I managed to get my hands on some family financial documents, don't ask me how, and what I find is shocking. Mom's been moving money around, taking out loans, all to keep up appearances. I confront Dad about it over the phone. Dad, did you know about this? Know about what, kiddo? The loans, the credit card debt. Mom's been hiding it all from you. There's a long pause. Sarah, what are you talking about? I explain everything I found. The letters, the photos, the rumors, the money. By the end, Dad sounds defeated. I had no idea, Sarah. I... I need some time to process this. As I hang up, I realize the full extent of mom's toxic behavior. This isn't just about me anymore. It's about our whole family. I call Emily, determined to get through to her. Em, we need to talk. There's a lot you don't know about what's been going on. Sarah, I... I don't know what to say. Just listen, okay? Mom's been lying to all of us. I lay it all out for her. 
by the end, she's in tears. I had no idea, Sarah. I'm so sorry I didn't stand up for you. I thought, I thought mom was just trying to protect us. It's okay, Em. We've all been fooled, but it's time to confront this head on. I spend the next few days gathering all the evidence. Photos, documents, testimonies from family friends who've heard mom's rumors. It's a tangled web of lies and manipulation, but I'm determined to unravel it. Mike finds me surrounded by papers and printouts one night. Babe, you've been at this for days. Are you sure you want to go through with this? I look up at him, my resolve stronger than ever. I have to, Mike. This isn't just about me anymore. It's about saving my family from mom's toxic behavior. He nods, understanding. All right, just remember, I've got your back. As I finalize my plan to confront mom, I feel a mix of dread and determination. This isn't going to be easy, but it's necessary. For too long, she's controlled our family with her lies and manipulation. It's time to bring the truth to light, no matter how ugly it might be. I book my flight, pack my bags, and prepare for what might be the most difficult confrontation of my life. But I'm ready. It's time to stand up not just for myself, but for my entire family. The day of Emily's graduation arrives, and I'm a bundle of nerves as I approach the auditorium. I spot mom first, her face turning pale when she sees me. Sarah, what are you doing here? I told you. I cut her off. I'm here to support Emily, mom, and we need to talk. Dad and Emily join us, confusion written all over their faces. Mom tries to have security remove me, but I stand my ground. Before you do that, there's something you all need to see. I pull out the folder of evidence I've gathered. Mom's face drops as I start explaining. Mom's been lying to all of us. She's been intercepting Grandma's letters, photoshopping me out of family pictures, spreading rumors about me, and mismanaging family funds. Emily gasps. Is this true, Mom? Mom stutters, trying to defend herself, but the evidence is overwhelming. Dad's voice is quiet but firm. Karen, how could you do this? As the truth sinks in, Mom breaks down. I just wanted us to be perfect. I was afraid of losing control, of what people would think. Emily turns to me, tears in her eyes. Sarah, I'm so sorry. I should have stood up for you. I hug her tight. It's okay, Em. We're here now. Dad, for the first time I can remember, stands up to Mom. This ends now, Karen. We need to make some changes. In that moment, I make my stance clear. I won't tolerate this toxic behavior anymore, even from family. But I'm here, and I'm not going anywhere. We attend Emily's graduation, and I cheer louder than anyone when she walks across the stage. Afterwards, she hugs me tight. I admire you so much, Sarah. Your strength, your individuality. I want to be more like that. As I head back to New York, I feel lighter. I've set clear boundaries with my family, and for the first time in years, I feel hopeful about our relationship. Over the next few months, things start to change. Emily moves to New York for a job, and we grow closer than ever. Dad starts therapy, finally finding his voice. Mom faces the consequences of her actions, losing her social standing as the truth comes out, and Aunt Linda becomes like a second mother to me, providing the support I always needed. Looking back, I realize that true family isn't about appearances or control. It's about acceptance and honesty. I'm proud of staying true to myself and setting an example of resilience. It wasn't easy, but it was worth it. My family might not be perfect, but it's real. And that's what matters. The story has come to an end. Now I've got a question for you. If you were in my shoes, would you have confronted your family with the truth, knowing it could potentially tear them apart? Or would you have kept the peace by staying silent? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Your perspective might help someone facing a similar situation. If you enjoyed this journey of self-discovery and family drama, don't forget to hit that like button. And hey, if you want more stories like this, subscribe to our channel. We've got plenty more where this came from. Thanks for watching, and remember, sometimes the bravest thing you can do is be true to yourself, even when it's hard.